Fox earlier this morning, the FDA released a briefing document uh, for Thursday's big panel meeting on that Moderna vaccine. And Meg Terrell has been digging through all those materials. He joins us now. Meg. Hey, Andrew. Well, there is a lot of information here from the FDA's own analysis of Moderna's vaccine. We are still digging through this 50 plus page document, but here are a few key details to bring you. Um, in terms of safety, they do detail what the most common effects are, uh, sort of the reactogenicity, injection site pain, fatigue, headache, muscle and joint pain, and chills. Now, they did say there are some rare events they're looking at, including uh, swelling in the vaccination arm uh, and also Bell's palsy. And that was something we saw with Pfizer's vaccine too. That's that sort of temporary, temporary paralysis in the face. Uh, they saw two events of that among people who were on the vaccine and one on placebo. And it's just too early for them to know if that's caused by the vaccine. Um, importantly, they noted no anaphylactic or severe hypersensitivity reactions to the vaccine. Uh, and of course, that's important because we saw those reactions to the Pfizer vaccine when it started getting rolled out in the UK. But guys, they hadn't seen that in their trials as well. So that will be a key topic of information. Now let's look at the efficacy. We know that this vaccine uh, is effective to the tune of about 95% in preventing uh, symptomatic COVID disease. Now, this is this key Kaplan-Meier curve here. The blue line is the people who did not get the vaccine. They were on placebo. The red line is those who got the vaccine. And you start to see that separation there uh, at about two weeks. Uh, now, this is probably not apples to apples with what we were looking at with Pfizer's graph last week, which was after just one dose. Um, it appears that this includes uh, both doses. But within the documents, they do point out that protection starts to come um, after uh, just one dose. But of course, the regimen here is two to get that 95% efficacy. Guys, another really interesting thing we're learning from these documents, not just from the FDA, but Moderna actually submitted its own um, addendums uh, is that there may be protection against infection uh, with the virus and uh, not just symptomatic disease. They, what they did was they swabbed for the virus when people came back for their second shot, basically 28 days later. And what they found is that two-thirds fewer swabs were positive in the vaccine group compared to the placebo group at the pre-dose two time point, suggesting that some asymptomatic infections start to be prevented after the first dose. Uh, so guys, some suggestion there that this vaccine prevents transmission and not just symptomatic disease, which is really key uh, for potentially getting to herd immunity. But these are early data, and we need to see that uh, borne out. Uh, and guys, of course, at the meeting on Thursday, this will all be discussed with the outside advisors to the FDA, and they will vote on whether this vaccine is safe and effective for people 18 years of age and older. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.